we're warlike people. We like war because we're good at it. You know why we're good at it? Because we get a lot of practice. This country's only 200 years old and already we've had 10 major wars. We average a major war every 20 years in this country, so we're good at it. And it's a good thing we are. We're not very good at anything else anymore. Huh? Can't build a decent car. Can't make a TV set or a VCR worth the fuck. We've got no steel industry left. Can't educate our young people. Can't get health care to our old people. But we can bomb the shit out of your country, all right? Especially if your country is full of brown people. That's our new job in the world, bombing brown people. Iraq, Panama, Grenada, Libya, you got some brown people in your country, tell them to watch the fuck out, or we'll goddamn bomb them. Well, when's the last white people you can remember that we bombed? Can you remember the last white, can you remember any white people? We've ever bombed the Germans. Those are the only ones, and that's only because they were trying to cut in on our action. They wanted to dominate the world. Bullshit, that's our fucking job. Now, you probably noticed I don't feel about that war the way we were told we were supposed to feel about that war, the way we were ordered and instructed by the United States government to feel about that war. My mind doesn't work that way. I got this real moron thing I do, it's called thinking. And I'm not a very good American because I like to form my own opinions. I don't just roll over when I'm told to. Sad to say, most Americans just roll over on command, not me. I have certain rules I divide. My first rule, I don't believe anything the government tells me. Nothing. very seriously the media or the press in this country, who in the case of the Persian Gulf War were nothing more than unpaid employees of the Department of Defense, and who most of the time, most of the time, function as kind of an unofficial public relations agency for the United States government. So I don't listen to them, I don't really believe in my country, and I gotta tell you folks, don't get all choked up about yellow ribbons and American flags. I consider them... I consider them to be symbols, and I leave symbols to the symbol-minded. I'm talking about the fact that a, a war is a rich old men protecting their property by sending middle-class and lower-class young men off to die. Forget these, these foolish elections. The owners of this country don't care about the poor and the owners of this country. And they don't care about what the... Are we going to, but is, is this Karl Marx talking to me? The owners of this country are no. the voters of this uh, country. You're wrong about that. Are, are, aren't aren't the owners of this country the voters of this country? No, no, like no, no, no. Not. Listen, the politics, these elections are a charade. Oh, oh, okay. it is, it is, they are meant to... I'll tell you, listen, just listen for a minute. Learn a little something. The ele elections and politicians are in place in order to give Americans the illusion that they have freedom of choice. You don't really have choice in this country. All the things that are important reduced in choice. Newspapers in the city, how many? It used to be three, four. Now it's one or two. They're owned by the same people. They also own a radio stations. Give these people a voting day every year so that they'll have the illusion of meaningless choice. Meaningless choice that we go like slaves and say, oh, I voted. The, the limits of debate in this country are, are, are established before the debate even begins. And everyone else is marginalized and made to seem either a communist or some sort of disloyal person. A kook, there's a word. And now it's conspiracy. See, they've made that something that, that, is, that is, should, should not be even entertained for a minute, that powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy bop. Conspiracy bop. 
Okay. Not as a result of a conspiracy, need, but You because. don't need a formal conspiracy. Right. When interests converge, these people went to the same universities and fraternities. They're on the it's same boards of directors. They're in the same country clubs. They have like interests. They yes. don't need to call a meeting. They know what's good for them. It's a and they're getting it. And there used to be seven oil companies. There are now three. It will soon be two. The things that matter in this country have been reduced in choice. There are two political parties. There are a handful of insurance companies. There are about six or seven information things. But if you want a bagel, there are 23 flavors because you have the illusion. You have the illusion of choice. Right. You don't think the real importance is no freedom of choice. Greetings from the people of the Stanley Storm.